I just realized I have one very dramatic eye look going on. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have the sold out volume seven trend mood box. I just learned about trend mood about, I don't know, a couple months ago. They come out with seasonal boxes and this is volume seven. So they've come out with seven boxes. So they've come out with boxes for seven seasons. I learned about them on Instagram. The last one volume six had some things from, I think there was a Tatcha item in it, which kind of caught my eye and I've never tried anything by Tatcha. So I started investigating what is this trend mood box? I didn't know anything about it. And I took a look at the website. You can give them your email address so that they can email you updates and alerts for when the box is available for purchase because this box sells out within a day. There was an early access that I could go and get a box and I missed that window because I was caring for my baby. And so that was at 9.30 and then at 10 a.m. it opened up just generally for anybody stumbling on the website who wanted to purchase it, they could purchase it. And that sold out within the first day. These go so fast. I paid $63 for this, which is kind of pricey. So that's the deal with Trend Mood. I'm gonna read you the about on their website. Bringing you the hottest products from the hottest brands. Each box is curated to bring our makeup community their favorite products, first access to new releases from the brands they love and at an amazing value. That's it. Let's just dig in. So here we go. Oh, there's something here that says scan me. I'm gonna scan that and see what happens live on camera. Oh, how cool. So if you scan that, then it brings up the information on the products that are included in the box. That is brilliant. That saves on so much paper. You know how the boxes have the cardboard insert with all the information and the prices and everything. I'm really wowed by that. So I paid $63 for this, which isn't cheap. So I'm not gonna spring for this box every single time, but I just wanted to see what this was about. So this is what it looks like when I opened it. It's cute, they threw some little fall leaves in there for decoration. So I've seen this first thing on Instagram. I think influencers also doing a campaign with this product. I have to get back on the influencer. They haven't picked me for a campaign in like six months, but this is the Glow Recipe Plum Plum Hyaluronic Serum, Deep Hydration and Glow. I have the Hand Skin Hyaluronic Essence going in my bathroom. I just had to open a new one, so I will probably put that aside as my hyaluronic uh, acid and replace it with this for the time being, just to try it. I have a plum oil, and I think that's why I got so excited about this box. I have a plum oil that I just love. It is so so divine to use and I am I was excited to see something else that was all about plums. So on the little website that that scan bar took me to or that scan square, they're not bars really anymore, right? They're these squares. But a super hydrating formula made with plum and hyaluronic acid which locks in moisture and plump skin layer by layer with hydration. Plum is the new fruit member to the Glow Recipe family. It is an antioxidant rich super fruit with a high concentration of vitamin C. Three types of plum, cockadoo, illawarra, and burdekin, rejuvenate, nourish, and boost skin for a youthful appearance. Includes four different forms of hyaluronic acid in five different molecular weights. Vegan collagen and silk protein are potent plant-based powerhouse ingredients that strengthen the skin barrier by guarding against free radicals. Vitamin B5 works as a moisturizer to soothe and repair. The silky lightweight serum delivers deep hydration and diminishes fine lines and wrinkles for glowing and vibrant skin. $42 vegan cruelty free. So there's the bottle. It's very darling. It's very darling. It looks like a little plum. It even has like a little divot there. I have a little makeup on, so I'm gonna put some just on my chest. So it's very much like a hyaluronic serum, very runny, very watery. It doesn't really smell like plum. As always, I will put this in a product review video once I've used it and let you know what I think. So next is this Basha Berry Blend Smoothing Facial with 28% acid complex. The box looks like this. It looks like this, very simple. I haven't tried anything by Basha. So I'm glad they had it in this packaging. It leaked, just a little though. Oh yeah, this is runny. It looks kind of like what you would think blended blueberries would look like. I'm going to have to play with that later. It's sticky, it's runny. I'm kind of a little bit annoyed. So I'm gonna put that down and I'll use it. And like the other one, I will let you know what I think. 
but let us read about it. Exfoliate away dead skin cells, eradicate dullness, and resurface skin with a powerful facial mask boasting a 28% acid complex comprised of AHAs, BHAs, and good for skin acids, and benefit packed berries that refine skin texture, minimize the look of fine lines and wrinkles, fight breakouts, and dramatically brighten to reveal a perfected complexion that's glowing and refined. $44, cruelty-free, vegan. My hands are sticky. <laughs> so now we have a first class lip kit. Looks like this, it's very reflective. From the New Worldy collection includes Heights Nude Lipstick Achievements Nude Lip Liner, 16 pounds. So this is from the UK somewhere. Let's try this. Lip liner, little bullet lipstick. It's a little crumbly off the bat, but maybe that's just off the bat. Typical one that you twist up. It's crumbly. It's super crumbly. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I'll just try to zoom in, but it really crumbled quite a bit. That's annoying. That's the second time I said I was annoyed. And look at this, this is crooked. And you can see that the side of the lipstick was, it's so crooked that it hit the side of the tube. But I'm gonna give this the benefit of the doubt. It's really, really hot where I am, and this sat out in 115 degree heat when it was delivered, and then by the time I got to it. So I think that it may have melted a little bit. Very creamy. Wow. I don't think that that's my color. Despite the fact that I think that the heat probably made the lipstick go crooked, I'm not loving this. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I am still excited about the Basha thing, despite being annoyed by the stickiness and spillage. Next, there are some things by Nude Sticks. So first is the Lip Glossé. Looks like this. Moisturizing like a lip oil, long wearing like a cream, and shiny like a gloss, infused with volumizing peptides, support natural collagen, and with lip conditioning ingredients like cocoa, shea, avocado, and muramuro butters, it's packed with multivitamins E, A, and E for a fuller lip look. $28. Each box includes one of these shades, nude 6, a cool toned dusty rose with a glossy finish, or nude 8, a cool toned brown with a glossy finish. I got nude 6. Six, which cool I'd rather dusty rose than a brown so let's just take this stuff off my lips and try this one it's a wand I don't know what I expected but I didn't expect that I like the way that feels it's very soft going on the applicator is very soft I like that I'm not much of a lip gloss person, so with that in mind, I do like it. It does tingle a little bit. It looks very pretty on camera. It's not terribly sticky. That's a thing. A lot of people talk about whether or not a lip gloss is sticky. I think every single lip gloss is sticky. I feel like I can't take a drink of water. I can't kiss my husband. They annoy me. Lip glosses annoy me. Not too big of a fan of the lip products in here. Again, I was mostly excited about the skincare stuff and then I thought the other stuff would be a treat. It was still a good value to get the box just simply for the skincare because that is like a $90 value and I got it for 63. And then there's nude sticks, nudies all over face color, bronze and glow in bubbly baby. Like that, bubbly baby. And then that's the front. A dewy skin brightening bronzer and highlighter for the eyes, cheeks, and lips. Water resistant, a soft color balm on one side and a blending brush on the other end. $32. Okay, so it has a brush on one end. Feels good. And then a creamy highlighter, which I'm kind of excited. I've been playing more with different kinds of makeup and I haven't played a lot with cream stuff. I put on a cream blush. I thought that was kind of interesting and I was realized I don't have a cream highlighter. That was actually today, so now I do. And then the last thing is Becca Cosmetics. It's a new product from them, the Light Gleam Primer and Topper Liquid Eyeshadow. I have on some eyeshadow, but let's see if we can play with this anyway. It's just in a Becca box. And then let's get to the product. Mine's in the color Red Star. So it's like that. 
matte eyeshadow with a shimmery topper dual ended liquid eyeshadow a double foot applicator applies a long wear pigmented primer that preps lids with rich color and a satin finish oh satin finish on the other hand a precision brush applies a twinkling topper for a multi-dimensional finish this retails for 26 dollars okay so it is a doe foot kind of a flat one this is also cream so i'll get to experiment with like some cream stuff let's see i don't know i'm a little bit hesitant Okay, here we go. That doesn't even look red to me. That looks more like a brown color. I'm gonna blend it out. This is a wet and wild blending brush. Okay, okay. I went a little high on the inner part of my eye, but that's all right. This is just for the sake of testing. I was a little alarmed when I first put it on and I still did put a little too much, but it blended out nicely and it's laying, I think, quite nicely. Let's play with the topper. This is an actual brush and it's just a little tiny one. See how that does? I do think that this is really pretty, really nice. It's working out well. Yes. That's pretty. Not the best job, but we get the idea. So not so quick math. Let me add up the value of this. I estimate that this is $192 value. That's with the uh, lip kit is 16 pounds. I just rounded off. I said it was worth $20 just for the sake of getting a general idea. So that's a pretty good value. I'm excited about the skincare and I do think that this Becca product is quite nice. I am excited to play with the nude sticks highlighter the cream highlighter and i do think that this nude sticks lip gloss is very nice again i'm not a fan of lip glosses so not so into that product and i definitely wasn't very much into this lip kit but so that's actually pretty good would i line up to buy this box again maybe depending on what's in it i was just really excited to try something new out that I just hadn't heard of. So if you're interested in this box, definitely check out their website. Put in your email so that you can get updates when their next box is available and you can jump on getting the next box. If you're interested, you have to jump on it. It sells out so fast. I couldn't believe it. So that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.